Welcome back. This is Devlog 6. Alright, alright, welcome back. First, let's tackle the elephant in the room. I've added wind and water. So the leaves now shake and along with the water. To do this, I just pretty much added a bunch of sines and cosines into the vertex shader, which the vertex shader is what draws stuff to the screen. So along with time, I just oscillate the leaf back and forth and same with the wind leaves. All right, next up, I also worked on something called normal mapping and parallax occlusion mapping. So what these do is they're supposed to add a fake 3D effect. So to show you what that really looks like, I added this brick texture, and if you look at it, this is a completely flat texture, but it actually looks kind of 3D, using these maps to sort of uh, tell the computer where the 3D should be, and it kind of tries to fake it. So I tried to do that for a few of these textures, like this 3D one came out a little bit better, but the rest of them didn't really work out so well, so I need to work on adding better normal mapping and uh, parallax occlusion maps. And just to show you what I used to get this fake 3D effect, if I look right here, I have a brick normal map, and you can see that there are definitely some grooves and things like that around the edges of the brick. Same with the displacement map, it's basically the same thing except in black and white. And what I can do then with these maps is I just put my normal map texture into the code, and I can read that and it gives a little pop-up effect there. And to make that normal map pop out even more, I can use the parallax occlusion map to do some wizard magic and make the image pop out even more where the black texture is. And finally, one of the latest things I did this week was upgrade my project from OpenGL version 3.3 to 4.5. And what that means is I basically get access to modern OpenGL functions to get everything running a little bit faster. Uh, you get access to hue shaders, tessellation shaders, and DSA all of which can help me improve my project by getting better graphics or just making things run a little bit faster. I also added some memory optimizations, so I'll show you here before and after. Uh, there's still a good bit more to do, but it's good to get that memory consumption down and without too much effort. And as far as features the last couple weeks, that's pretty much it. Just to give you a quick summary, here you go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and, well, I know Bob did. I'll end it off here with some views of the tiny voxels, which I still need to fix for the next devlog. And I'll see you around next time then. Bye bye.